Right then, so I've been trying to charge the VW Beetle battery with this one. I actually said it was charging, but it doesn't seem to have done anything. So unfortunately, we do have another battery charger. But this one, as usual, it's either been stood on or stolen. This is the plug. So it's turned into a slight nightmare, but I found a lovely new old plug. We'll see if we can get going. So the middle one there is a Phillips screwdriver. Should take that out. Oh, very nice. There's a little bit hanging about there. Oh. So I've realised one thing before we start with this plug is the fuse is missing. So I may have to find the fuse. Now these wires look like they've just been disconnected. So I may, I'm hoping actually I should be able to just Take that off there. So the brown's alive, the blue's the neutral, and the green and yellow is the earth. Now they do look slightly long, so I do have some snips to hand. I'm just tickle them off a bit. Oh yeah. And the snips are also. Looks like it. So I need to take that little part out to I should be able to actually should be able to put my wire through there I'm thinking now. It's not going to go. It's quite fat wire. Just undo that. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. Right, so the earth, which is the longest one of on this part, goes to the longest pin which is right at the top. So we'll get that one in first. Lovely jubbly. These are slightly fiddly, but nothing too bad. And the live is the one which has got the fuse holder on. Which is that little part there. Which also just needs to bring it to there, underwind. Get my fingers in, my big fat fingers. So this needs to go on to this one. These all the little wires, little threads need to be pushed through, so just need to twist them around a slightly, I think. There we go, lovely. Good and tight. So there we go, and the last one, which is the neutral, I don't know if that will move out, it seems to want to stay where it is. It's going to go, I don't know if I 
seem to make hard work of easy jobs, but that's how it goes. It needs to go all the way in so there's no wire showing, so it's all the way in there. So those two in there, pull that across. Oh, is that going to work? So that needs to go in there. Oh, it's fat wire. I think this wire is slightly big. It's turning into a slight nightmare. That goes in there. That goes there. I think that wire is slightly too long. It's going to need a squidgy bit cutting off. Now that fits a lot better. The only thing is now I need a fuse. So let's right, so I found a fuse, 13 amp fuse, but we don't know because it's an old one if it's any good. So what I've got is this little tester, and if I put it to that little symbol there, which is continuity, it should, if I put the two wires together, it should be. So hopefully when I put this fuse on each side, it should also beep. If it doesn't beep, it's a dud. Oh, we're on a winner. Because the only thing is, if you put a fuse in that's old and it doesn't, and it's blown, you don't know which part you've done wrong. So now we can insert the fuse. Lovely. We'll connect that back over. That should hold it in position. Actually on the, uh, it's got to be on the white part. So it clamps it. So if anyone ever pulls the wire. Shouldn't pull it out. Connect that part back up. Don't seem to be sat straight. We've got something amiss. Just needs a little gala fudge. This wire is slightly big. I don't know why. 
such a big gauge, but it is. Oh, lovely jubbly. There we go. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, plug. Alright then, let's see if we can see if this works. On the beetle. To try and charge his battery up. This job's turning into a slight nightmare and taking forever. <laughs>